Hi guys, Renata from Green Life in Dublin here. Sending love to each and every single one of you in 2021. Wishing you a happy and healthy year, if that's possible. Thank you for tuning in. I'm filming my best of 2020 videos and I decided to split into the series by category because one long video just didn't work out. I filmed it like six times because life and lockdown happens homeschooling is happening right now and we are where we are i guess i sent my daughter to the other room because she's playing roblox with her friends so if you hear any screaming that's what's going on okay so this video is gonna be skincare favorites as i mentioned i just filmed my makeup favorites video but so i will leave in the description down below so please check it out I have a lot of products, so I'm not gonna ramble. I'm not gonna ramble too much about every single one of them, but I still want to share my favorites. Okay, let's get started with rose water. As you can see, I got the biggest size possible of Altair Organics rose water, and I'm going through this. There is like no tomorrow because that's the only rose water that I use. Okay. brand discovery and my practically the whole skin cares consists of this brand which is called evolve organic beauty as you can see i have tons of products and they replaced everything that i was using prior to that so let's talk about it shall we uh, I'm, I'm missing something now Daily Defense Moisture Mist is my mist of choice. Uh, it smells amazing. It does good things to my skin. And that's the only mist that I wanted to purchase because not only it's natural, it has a really nice smell and it's on the portable side. Uh, yeah. Liquid Radiant Glycolic Toner. It's exfoliating toner. So I love that as well. A couple of masks, uh, bioretinol gold mask, it's amazing mask, It's you wouldn't believe the color of it. It made into my best of 2020 Instagram post without me reviewing it. <laughs> so I, I think I have to review it very, very soon. Uh, so that's amazing. Uh, another mask is Radiant Glow, uh, Glow Mask, can't talk today. It's also really, really nice. So I'm gonna recommend that as well. Their face cream uh, that I'm loving is called Daily Renew Facial Cream. And I have dermatitis and very sensitive skin, so practically no cream would measure, but this one does, and I will repurchase that for a really long time to come. Okay, my camera is flashing red battery sign, so I'm running out of time. Uh, okay. Bioretinol and C Booster. It's the only natural. There we go. Uh, Bioretinol product that I'm using because uh, I don't know what magic evolved it, but that's the only retinol product that is working for me. Uh, 360 Iron Lip Contour. Uh, this is my. Uh, and the eye cream and also around the lip cream of choice that's what i really love uh, one of the things that i treated myself with and i really miss having in my skincare stash is mahalo rare indigo this is practically one of the very very few products that i'm willing to spend over 100 euros for because it's amazing for my dermatitis and also for overall skin renewal uh, and I have a Mahalo review, please check it out. Okay, my clay mask of choice is Quiet Earth by Immersus Organics. Another powder mask that I love is Kadi Sandalwood. If you know me, you know anything Sandalwood has my attention. So this is what I like. Okay, another multitasking product. It's uh, by Terra Verde. Uh, what is it called? Multitasking cream with argan and shea. 
I just reviewed this brand, so please check the description. Another brand that I fell head over heels for in love, it's called Living Globations. This is their, uh, what is it called? Sea Buckton Buskin Eva. You can use this to, as a first oil cleanse to remove the makeup and uh, sunscreen and stuff. But uh, you can also use this as the oil uh, serum. The liquid serum of choice for me is Sandalwood Supreme. I have to review this in upcoming weeks, so please stay tuned. Sunscreen of choice for me is this. Everybody loves sunshine with zinc lotion. This is uh, physical uh, zinc, so it's not nano and not chemical, so it does leave a white cast. But guess what? It's protecting from the sun, it's working, and it's also healing my dermatitis, which I have from time to time. So for me, it's well worth it. I'm gonna put up with a white cast. Uh, do that. I reviewed long time ago, before any of the pandemics and maskne happened. Uh, 